at verse, uh, verse, verse 9. Verse 9. This is for all the church folk. And he spoke this parable unto a certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. No, I hope there's nobody like, in, like that in here or there. Okay. Man, I'll tell you what, you can find folks like that in church. <laughs> they think they're, man, some folks have been going to church for 50 years. They think, man, I've made it. <laughs> Let's see what he has to say about this. I'm going to leave you with this one. It's important because there's a lot of people, you know, before I was saved, I used to think, well, if God's going to set me, I've got to go find a church. I've got to go join a church. I've got to shave. I've got to clean up. I gotta, and, and I thought that's what I had to do. And I found out that wasn't about anything. Listen to, what, listen to what he said. Two men went up into the temple to pray. Here we go about praying again. See, Jesus is teaching about praying. Two men went up into the temple to pray. The one a Pharisee and the other a publican. Now, we all know about them. The Pharisees. Were the, you know, with the robes and the hats and the, they were the, if, if the people of that day, if you would ask them, who's the most righteous people on earth, they would point to a Pharisee and say, right there. Man, that guy keeps the law. He ties everything just the way he should. He's, he's holy, he's righteous, he gives money and he, he uh, helps the poor and he's, uh, he's powerful and he's rich and, and that's, man, that guy, there's a guy who, he's, yeah, man, he's with God. And if you point to the publican and say, what do you think about that publican? That, that's a way of saying tax collector. The publicans of that day were Jews. They were, they were considered turncoats. They were considered treasonous because they turned on their people and were collecting taxes for the Romans. And usually when they would collect taxes for the Romans, they would take a little bit extra for themselves. So you can imagine just how popular they were. Both these men went into the temple to what? To pray. They wanted to talk to God. Now, you have to understand, this is before the giving of the Spirit. This is before the cross. Okay, this is Old Testament e uh, economy here. And the Pharisee stood, and he said, thus within himself. He was talking to himself. He thought he was talking to God, but he wasn't. He said, God, I thank thee. I'm not like other men. Extortioners, unjust, adulterers, even like this guy. The publican. Man, that Pharisee went in there. He said, me and God, we're going to have a talk. I said, I thank you, Lord. I'm not like him. <laughs> I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I never, I never touched a drink in my life. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lord, I don't look. I don't look. I don't smoke. I don't chew. I don't run. Okay. <laughs> he, says, he says, I'm not like them. I'm not like him. Man, it's tax guy. He says, listen to this, I fast twice a week? Whew. I don't even do that. <laughs> I'm lucky if I fast twice a year. <laughs> you know, if, if I fast, it's between like breakfast and lunch. <laughs> okay. God forgive me. I need to fast more. But he was better. He would say, I fast twice a week. He's proud of himself. I fast twice a week. He says, I give tithes of all that I possess. Fasting and tithing are a good thing. We should, we should do them. We should do them. And he's just, he just praying and telling God what a great guy he is. Oh, God, I'm so good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And the publican, he didn't even go up. He was standing in the back of the room. Didn't even lift up his eyes. But he smote himself upon the breast saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Who did God hear? You know, there's a whole lot of people praying to God, and God ain't even listening to them. Jesus said, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified. For every one that exalts himself shall be abased, and he that humbles himself shall be exalted. Man. Jesus said, you need to take up your cross. You need to die to yourself. If we want God to hear our prayers, if we want to be able to listen to him, we need to put ourselves on the cross. Crucify ourselves. 
every day. We want power over devils? It's there. It's available. But not until we get to the cross. 